Hello, my name's John Oakwood, and you are Geeta Kapoor, right? Yes. Thank you. Can you spell your family name for me, please? K A P O O R. Thank you. Where are you from? From India, but now I live in Cardiff. Thank you. Exam begins. Language cert, ESOL International. Speaking and listening, achiever level, the fifteenth of May. Now, part one. I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. First, times of the year. Which month of the year do you like best? I like May. Why? Because in May it's sunny weather in Wales, but it's not too hot. Okay, I see. Now, friends, how do you keep in contact with your friends? A contact.、Uh, my phone is very good for this. I, my friends,、uh, my friends and I, we have many apps for speak.、Uh, we speak and we can see faces too. It it it's a very good way to contact with friends. Okay, now language. How will you use English in the future? Um, in the future, I want to have my business. I think I must understand English well. I must、uh, speak English with many customers. Yes, I see. Now, watching films. What was the last film you saw? I saw a very old film, old but good. Um, it's called Alien. It's about、uh, people in a spaceship, and、uh, there are monsters. It's exciting. <laughs> yes, very exciting. Thank you, Geeta. Now, part two. We are going to role play some situations. I want you to start or respond. First situation. I'm a tourist in your town. I start. Excuse me, is there a shopping centre nearby?、Uh, yes, turn right at the traffic lights. It's not far. I see. Can I take a bus there?、Uh, there isn't a bus, but you can walk. It's only five minutes. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you, Geeta. Second situation. We're neighbours. You're having a party at the weekend. You start. Hello, neighbor. I'm having a party at the weekend. Would you like to come? We will have good food and、uh, good music. I'm afraid I'm busy this weekend, so I can't come. Perhaps you can come next time. I have a lot of parties. Thank you for inviting me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, thank you, Geeta. Now, part three. In this part of the test, we're going to discuss something. All right. My sister is getting married, and I can't decide what to buy her as a wedding present. You're my friend, and I've asked you to help me. Here are some ideas. Let's ask and answer questions to help us decide what to do. I'll start. I want to buy a wedding present for my sister. Do you think some furniture for her apartment is a good idea? No, isn't a good idea. I think your sister, she already has some sofa and chairs, and sofa and chairs are expensive. What about dinner for two in a hotel? That's only fifty euros. Yes. But I think they'd prefer two plane tickets to New York. She loves travelling. What do you think about that? Do you want to buy so very expensive present? I think it's better you buy her a present. She can put it in her house. You're right. I could buy her a nice picture to put on the wall, or a washing machine. Which do you think would be better? When people have a wedding, I think、um, 
I think they prefer a useful present like a washing machine. The picture is nice, but maybe she doesn't like your picture. Or maybe her husband, her husband doesn't like it. You're right. A washing machine is the best idea. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. In part four, I'm going to read something. I'm going to tell you about Hiromi and her favorite place to eat out. I'll read it two times. Listen and take notes on your paper. I'll then ask you these questions. My name is Hiromi, and I love food. I enjoy cooking, and my friends say I'm a good cook, but, in general, I prefer to eat out at a restaurant. My favourite place is called Planet Earth, and it's the oldest vegetarian restaurant in Osaka. The decor is very simple, but the food is nice and not too expensive, so I can go there often, maybe twice a month. We always book a table there if it's a special occasion. The place is really famous for its mushroom soup. It's a bestseller. They have a very old secret recipe for it, and they've never shared it with anyone. They also have pizza and dessert on the menu. Their vegan cheesecake is the most delicious thing. I sometimes buy their cakes and bring them to the office, which makes my colleagues very happy. Many of them have started going to Planet Earth after trying them. Now, I'll read it again. My name is Hiromi, and I love food. I enjoy cooking, and my friends say I'm a good cook, but, in general, I prefer to eat out at a restaurant. My favourite place is called Planet Earth, and it's the oldest vegetarian restaurant in Osaka. The decor is very simple, but the food is nice and not too expensive, so I can go there often, maybe twice a month. We always book a table there if it's a special occasion. The place is really famous for its mushroom soup. It's a bestseller. They have a very old secret recipe for it, and they've never shared it with anyone. They also have pizza and dessert on the menu. Their vegan cheesecake is the most delicious thing. I sometimes buy their cakes and bring them to the office, which makes my colleagues very happy. Many of them have started going to Planet Earth after trying them. Now, the questions. What type of restaurant does Hiromi like? The oldest veg, um, veg, oh, vegetarian restaurant. <sighs> okay. Which dish is the most popular? The most popular is, uh, soup. Mushroom soup. Okay. What desserts does Hiromi buy to bring to work? She buys cakes. Okay. Thank you, Gita. Now, you're going to talk on your own for one and a half minutes. Your topic is your favourite place to eat out. You now have 30 seconds to write some notes to help you. You're going to talk about your favourite place to eat out. OK, Gita, please start. I like one restaurant very much. Its name is Icarus. It's a good location on the beach. You can enjoy swimming and then you can eat a del um, delicious lunch.
when you eat, you look at the sea. It's a wonderful view. It's a nice restaurant. It's near a market and all food is fresh. Salad and chips are also good with your lunch. You can eat a lot of food and you don't pay much money. It's a bargain. If you go to this restaurant, you aren't disappointed. I often go to this restaurant at, um, at the weekend with, with my friends. But don't go late. If you go late, it's crowded. There are too many people and the waiter says, I'm sorry we don't have fish left. Then I feel unlucky. Okay. Do you like restaurants where they play live music? Yes, sometimes I like it. It's a good um, at, uh, atmosphere. But sometimes it's not good music and it's very noisy. Okay. What can you cook well? <laughs> I'm not a good cook. But when I cook, I cook curry and rice because it's easy. And sometimes I cook sweets because I like them. <laughs> okay. How important is it to learn to cook? Very important, because if you can't cook, you are hungry. <laughs> Thank you, Gita. That is the end of the exam.